Your brain can survive for several minutes after your heart stops. But what if your brain took a time out and stopped working for five seconds? Would you instantly be brain dead? What would happen to your other organs? And could your normal life functions resume when your brain begins working again? This is what if, and here's what would happen if your brain stopped working for five seconds. In case you haven't noticed, your brain is important. It controls your thoughts and movements, as well as all the bodily functions that keep you alive. This amazing organ can survive up to six minutes after your heart stops, but sometimes the human brain can take a coffee break. When most of the brain activity shuts down, you could be in a coma or a vegetative state. These conditions could be temporary or permanent, but they are different from your brain stopping completely. If your brain stopped for five seconds, all your primary functions like pulse, breathing, and blood pressure would shut down. But what would happen if your brain started working again? Could you go back to your everyday life? Sorry to break it to you, but if your brain shut off for five seconds, you'd be brain dead, and brain death is irreversible. Though, at that moment, you might not look dead. You'd seem to be in a deep, deep sleep. So, before declaring you brain dead, your doctors would need to perform several tests. They'd shine a light in your eyes to confirm that your pupils are no longer reacting. They'd also check whether you have any reaction to pain or if your gag reflex still kicks in. Once it's confirmed you have no pulse and no registered brain activity, you would be clinically dead. And sadly, nothing can be done to reverse this. Your brain wouldn't be able to come back to life five seconds later. But what would be happening to your body? Well, without any medical intervention, brain death would lead to multiple organ failure, hypothermia, and respiratory failure. Since your lungs no longer work, your body wouldn't get any new oxygen. Your cardiac muscles would start to die. Within an hour or so, your heart would stop. But the death process wouldn't end there. About one week after your brain death, your kidneys would start to fail, and so would your immune functions. That's because your brain would no longer be creating the hormones needed for all the biological processes in your body. You know, if there's one bright side to all of this, it's at least you wouldn't suffer. No, you wouldn't feel anything. But that's only because you're completely dead. If you're a registered organ donor, the doctors would have methods to keep your body functioning for a long time even after brain death. They would need to maintain a healthy environment for your organs, so they'd provide your body with necessary medications, hormones and fluids. And they'd keep you on a ventilator. This breathing machine would inflate your lungs with air to keep your heart beating. As long as there's oxygen, your heart can keep on pumping. During this time, they'd cover your body in blankets to keep you warm. You would look like you were asleep. Once the doctors harvested all the organs they could, this treatment would cease. It would make no ethical sense to keep your body alive. But it would all be worth it because your organs would be available for patients desperately waiting for organ or tissue donations. And most organs come from brain-dead donors. But brain death doesn't happen all that often. It occurs in only one out of every 200 hospital deaths. So you can see why organ transplants are so hard to come by. Or, I guess you could see if you weren't, you know, brain dead. Now, 
Would it be any better if you were in a coma and never woke up? Well, that's a story for another What If. <laughs>